Oh, 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 God. Oh, my God. That's disgusting. Oh, oh, hello. Excuse me. I just was looking at some artwork, so-called the uh, Great Wall of Vagina. However, I don't see anything so great about it. I think it should be called more like the Disgusting Wall of Disgusting Vaginas. Very ugly, to say the least. So, but yeah, art is art. And I guess beauty is in the eye of the beholder. I don't know where that, where that saying ever came from. But anyway, okay, so this is my thoughts on it. Gross, 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 gaping holes, snaggled lips, stretched and worn out, disgusting, and roadkill. Those are basically the thoughts that come to mind, to be quite honest. So this artist, he's a, I guess he's a UK-based artist in England. And he spent five years of his life um, doing these uh, molds or casts of vaginas. He has molded and casted over, I believe, 400. And, you know, I've never actually been to the um, studio where they are displayed. However, there are plenty of videos on YouTube. And from what I can tell, from what I've seen, um, out of the 400 or the ones that they actually showed on YouTube, I only saw like one that had like a larger than, much larger than normal clit. And even that one was ugly because it looked like it had like dead flesh hanging from it. And then the hole was like all like gaping and ugly. And plus the the tip, the head was like protruding. So I think that was ugly. Like it had like no, no skin, no foreskin covering it. And like the hole was way too big. So the, for me, the perfect vagina would have like the foreskin covering the top, the tip. And then the hole underneath would be like real small and not all like gaping open and everything. That's like gross. So what I had in mind is why doesn't this artist do something called the Great Wall of Intersexed Vaginas. Now that would be truly great. Well, maybe not all, but there'd be a few maybe that might look pretty good. So yeah, that's just my thoughts. I'm just being honest here. Um, why, do, why are these vaginas so fucking ugly? <sighs> um, I don't know, maybe they're like deformed or something. I know, People think that, um, most people think that are, that intersex are deformed, but I see it the other way around. I see intersex as being more like as a natural variation in nature. And I see what's considered normal is being abnormal. That's how I see it. And only because it's the, my, my majority against the minority is the only reason why people see things backwards. That's how I see, see it basically. So yeah, that's one good thing. The only good thing about overpopulation is the more people that are going to be born, uh, the more the more intersex people that are going to be born. That's the only good thing about overpopulation, and that's the truth. Take care.